Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelby and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I am in my daughter's room right now. Um, this is just the easiest and best lighting place to film with a decently clean background. Normally I film sit down videos like in my office, but that room is a disaster right now because we've had to pull out a bunch of like business stuff and whatnot. So it's kind of just a mess, but I have usually film in here anyway, so that is where we are if you are new um i've done nursery tours if you want to see anything or know where anything is from then you can definitely go and check that out um i will leave it down below that's probably easier down below in the description box but today i wanted to touch on co-sleeping because i've had a few people ask about it and a few people be concerned about it and all that stuff and it's also something that i said i would never do and don't ever say you'll never do something because that is one thing I have learned since having her is there's things that you said that you will do that you end up not doing. There's things you say you won't do and you end up doing them. So technically let's start out with what co-sleeping is. So co-sleeping is actually considered sleeping in the same room. So we do co-sleep with her, um, but there's also bed sharing and other things that you just have to like pinpoint like what you're talking about when you say co-sleeping. So I'm going to touch on co-sleeping as a whole and I'm going to touch on bed sharing because bed sharing is what I swore I would never ever 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 do. And for the first two weeks being home with Avery we bed shared because it was just super hard and that's all she wanted was to be like on my chest and then it just would end up her just being in the bed with us. So that was the only way we were getting sleep, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, so I definitely think to each their own and I'm not one to judge on what you decide to do um, because I stuck my foot in my mouth and I said I would never bed share. So, um, I think there's just like things to be really cautious of. Like my husband's a really hard sleeper. So I never let her sleep in the middle because I didn't want him to like roll over on her or anything like that. So I always slept in the middle and she slept on the other side of me. I am a super, super light sleeper. So it was nothing for me to like wake up just like that for any noise that I heard. Um, so what I did was I just put her on my side of the bed, pull, I pulled her bassinet all the way to the bed and then that put a pillow as a barrier there so that she couldn't fall off or anything like that. But, um, and then I just let her sleep on her back, kind of down a little bit so she wasn't near my pillows or anything like that. And then I just really didn't sleep with a blanket because I didn't want it to smother her. So... I think there's just things to be cautious of if you are going to bed chair. Um, I knew this was something that I didn't want to do long term just because obviously like we really love having the bed to ourselves. I want her to be independent and sleep on her own and things like that and like eventually she needs to sleep in her own room. I mean if we have another child then like we're starting the whole process all over again and I can't have two kids in my bed. So um, it's definitely been a little bit of a journey but now we co-sleep so she sleeps in our room in a bassinet and up until last night actually she slept in the bassinet right next to the bed um but i then moved it kind of over in the room so she has a little bit of her own independent area um but she's still like two feet away from me it, so that i can get to her um it's just easier for nighttime feedings and diaper changes and stuff like that because she still does wake up um, pretty much just once a night now. She goes to bed around 9.30. It's our goal is 9.30. Sometimes it's a little bit later just depending on what we're doing. But in general, my goal is 9.30 for her. And then um, she usually wakes up around 3 or 3.30. So that's really how we're doing with that. Um, before when she was waking up like two or three times a night, obviously she was just right next to the bed. Just pick her up, change her, feed her and then put her back in her bed sometimes. Now around the three to four o'clock feeding, Dwight gets up between 4.30 and five every morning to go to work. So if it was like that, then um, she would just like fall back asleep on my chest because I have up until last night been actually like putting her to sleep and then putting her in her bed once she's asleep. 
but last night I chose to see if she'd put herself to sleep and she did really well with that um same with her nap right now that she's napping I uh, let her kind of put herself to sleep so we're kind of just playing around with different routines and things like that but she's still co-sleeping in our room in our bassinet if you want to see how I have all that set up you can check out my last video I vlogged about when I was cleaning and reorganizing everything in our room um but I don't think co-sleeping is a bad thing I know people who still have like two and three year olds that co-sleep so they still sleep in their bedroom but not in their bed uh and it's just up to you and your child and what you guys prefer and what's best for you guys. So um, what makes everybody happy, I think, is a big thing as well. Uh, because I would just be a nervous wreck if she was already in her room. Because I actually have a friend whose son has never slept in their room at all. In their bed or anything. So it's just like personal parent preference. Whatever you and your husband or spouse agree on. And, and you know everyone has a good schedule and gets good sleep and all the things like that um we never took shifts I always just did everything at night just because it's easier and plus I was off work and my husband was going to work so I could sleep with her during the day if I needed to um so that's what we do he has been getting up at her like 3 three thirty, um feedings and like helping if needed be because he is about to be getting up anyways so that's been nice um, because I don't have to be at work till 9, so we can kind of, like, figure it out up until that point. But, yeah, that's just my little co-sleeping, bed-sharing experience. Um, if you guys have any other questions or more specific details that you want to know about it, um, I'm also going to say, and I know I'll probably get a lot of comments on this, maybe, maybe not, but... You know, the doctors tell you they need to sleep on their back in a swaddle. They can have a binky, yada, yada, yada. Well, you know, again, this is all parent preference. You know, if you're comfortable doing it, you know, it's fine. But she got to a point where she wouldn't sleep for longer than like 30, 45 minutes on her back. So we started putting her on her side and we rolled up some blankets and kind of propped her up. And that way she stayed on her side and then eventually we just got to where she went on her belly. Um, that child holds her head up better than any eight week old that I have ever seen. So she does really well on her belly because she will pick her head up in a heartbeat and flip it over from side to side. I don't always put her on her belly and I don't put her on her belly through the night just because it does make me nervous. But like at work, she'll sleep on her belly for like nap time and like nap times at home, she'll sleep on her belly some, like she's on her belly right now. Um, it just depends if she's sleeping well or if she's not. If she will not sleep at all and you're putting her on her back, then when you flip her to her belly, she's out like a light. Cause she sleeps on her belly on my chest and that's her favorite place to be. Um, so I just decided to try it and see um, because I know they tell you not to, but sometimes you just have to try different things and see what works. As long as you're closely monitoring them, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I know years ago, like all babies slip on their bellies. So I guess it's just up to you as the parent, you know, what's best for your child. So, um, that's just another little, I guess, sleeping tip with our experience, but, um, just do what you think is best. Um, and you know, everyone believes in different things and has different opinions. So you just stick to what you want to do. I don't judge anybody for what they do. I just think it's one of those things that, um, you just have to figure out as you go and you'll figure out what works and what doesn't. Um, I still think we are going to co-sleep with her in our room for a while, probably, I mean, definitely until she's sleeping through the night permanently, but probably for the rest of this year, I would say more than likely, unless she, I try to put her in her crib in here for nap times and stuff, and she's still not a huge fan. Um, so we're just like slowly doing it when we're home and I think about it, I'll put her in here and see how she does. But in general, she's just in our room. So we will worry about that transition when the time comes. Um, it'll definitely have to be before another baby comes, but if she's content in our room and we're content with her in her room, then that's just where she's going to stay for now. Um, but yeah, 
well, I can see my dogs out in the backyard are getting into things that they're not supposed to be getting into. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any other like little experience, tip, opinion, videos that you want to see, leave the topics down below. I'll be happy to do that. I'm an open book and I don't mind sharing anything with you guys. Um, so yeah, that is our co-sleeping experience. I just kind of wanted to clarify what I've learned about what co-sleeping actually is um, and isn't. So there's several different ways to co-sleep, um, but that is what we have done and just kind of like what works for us. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!